This is the video tutorial for the Happy Days concertina purse. It has a nice cam snap to keep everything safe and it safely holds your bank card and a few coins. And this is how you make it. You will need fabric for the lining, fabric for the outer, fusible interfacing, a heat erasable pen and a cam snap. Now this is how you make it. We'll start by making the outer of your concertina purse. As you can see I've already ironed fusible interfacing onto the reverse of the fabric. I've placed my template on top and next I'm going to take my heat erasable pen and I'm going to carefully draw all the way around the template. I've drawn around my template so I'll remove my fabric weights. Next, take your lining fabric and place it underneath your outer piece, right sides together. Next, place some pins around your fabric. This is just to hold it while we do the next bit of sewing. You could put some in the centre and maybe on the flap as well. I've popped lots of pins in and I've also put a reminder at the bottom to leave a gap when we're sewing. And the next stage is starting from the end of your gap. Sew along this line that you've drawn all the way around. Take your time. Nice straight lines, nice sharp corners all the way around until you get to there, back stitch and stop. It is important that you place them right sides together so pretty side to pretty side. I've sewn all the way around the lines and I've remembered to leave a gap at the bottom for turning later. The next stage is to cut around your shape. Now you could use freehand and just cut it, leaving about a quarter of an inch all the way around your line, but I find it much easier and you get a much nicer finish if you draw lines on to guide you. And that's what I'm going to do now. I've drawn a line all the way around I've drawn it in red so it stands out for you and the next part I'm going to cut around that red line. I've cut all along the red line and I've also snipped into the corners here and each of the corners around. And the next part is to use the gap at the bottom to turn the right way around. I've turned it the right way and I've tucked in and pressed the gap we left at the bottom. And the next bit of sewing is to sew all along a nice top stitch along here and that will automatically seal that gap we left. So sew along there and stop. And then sew along here, along And stop. We're not sewing that side or that side. Try and sew as close to the edge as you can. Once you've top stitched the next stage is the folding. I'm looking at the lining of the purse right now and the first bit of folding that you do you take this side over and you line up the bottom 
and you line up the, the edge to there and you press. Then you open up the other side, fold over so it all matches and once again press. Next you do exactly the same for this side. So fold over, make sure that the crease is in line with the top of the flap and they match at the bottom. Then take this side and fold over and once again press. And you should end up with something like this. Next, we've got to line up this edge and this edge and join them together and add some clips. It's important that your bottom and all your sides line up. And the next stage, we're going to take our heat erasable pen and a ruler and using the crease that we made, draw a line along that crease. I've drawn a line along the crease. It's a bit difficult to see on camera. And the next stage is once you've drawn your line, to keep the fabric from moving, add a few more clips around the bottom and the top. I've added lots of clips to stop it moving and I've ensured that everything lines up properly. And next, using that line I drew, I'm going to take it over the sewing machine and I'm going to sew on top of that line sewn along the line. Next, fold over one side and press. Then bring this bottom edge up to this top edge and make sure everything lines up neatly and at the top and then add some clips. I've added some clips just to prevent everything moving. And the next bit of sewing is to sew along here. Sew pretty close to the edge. I've sewn all along there. And as you can probably see, these two are still loose. So to to join those up, hold them tightly and then pull the rest of the fabric out of the way and once again line up your edges and pop some clips in. I've lined up all my edges and added lots of clips and as I did before so fairly close all along here. I've sewn all along. Now I'm going to open it all out. This is a little bit fiddly, but put your fingers in the front piece and your fingers in the back and then just pull it. Like I say, it's a little bit fiddly. And then you should end up looking like that. I've lined up all the edges and I've pressed it. And next, I'm going to add the cam snap. I've added my cam snap and that's my purse already my bank card in. So I'm all 
ready to go shopping. And that's your happy days, concertina purse, all finished.